This is a podcast from the future. Please prepare yourself accordingly. During the time shift, you may experience brief audio disruption. To minimize any negative effects, try to float in time. Don't force it. Now, please close your eyes, breathe normally, and on a count of five, we will begin. One, two, three, four, five. Molly, please come in and make yourself comfortable. My name is Michelle. Wait. You're a bot? A bot is going to do my performance review. I am a bot. They should have told you. I regret the error. I will play some nature sounds to make you comfortable with this performance review. They didn't tell me anything. Just that I had to be here at 6 o'clock in the morning. Is that early for you? It's fucking early. I suspect they were attempting to be considerate. They didn't want to disrupt your day. They don't care about whether they disrupt anything. I know why I'm here. A performance review is never good news. A performance review doesn't have to be bad news, Molly. It means that they are concerned about you. (laughs) What is that noise? Is that what you call nature sounds? Would you turn that off? It's really annoying. I thought they would be soothing. I don't know what that is, but you should turn it off. I have turned the nature sounds off. I apologize for the error. I am recording this session for quality control and training purposes. System? Yes, I am System. Please record this session. Recording. Thank you, System. Now, Molly, why do you think you have been called into a performance review? I mean, I've seen Mission Scrubbed, and some people got erased. It's seriously messed up. Before we go further, I want to let you know that I will make this easy for you. No matter what happens here, I will give you a good review. You just have to tell me about your job 103.887B Mission Expeditor Level 47 and it will satisfy the requirements. You're kidding me. I am not kidding. Okay, let's get this over with. I have a full day ahead of me and my days are never easy. Why aren't they easy, Molly? I shouldn't have told you that. You are breathing a micro click faster than before. Your heart rate has increased. Oh, great. You're one of those bots. You can monitor? Yes. They didn't tell me you'd be that kind of bot. But they didn't tell me you'd be a bot at all. As if they tell me anything. Molly, please take a deep breath before we continue. No, you can't tell me what to do. I'm trained to help you open up and share about your job. Job number 103.887B. No, you fucking bot. No way. I got called with no warning, and it got me thinking about why. On the way over, I was thinking, why? Did they jiggle the schedule and put me at the top? Why did they do that? Okay, so I've been screwing up lately. It's true. Nobody knows that. I haven't told a soul. So how would you know? Tell me what has been happening. Do you know what has been happening? I need to hear it from you, Molly. Okay. I have too much work. That's it. That's the whole goddamn problem. But you can't tell that to nobody. You can't tell anybody because they don't care. I care. Oh, go to hell. Sorry. But they tell you to say that, right? True. It is on my list of things to say but it is still a good thing to say. I care. I do care, Molly. This is ridiculous. I mean, really. Just try to tell me what's wrong. All right. I have this manifest. You've seen my chart, so you know that. I have a manifest. The manifest has a list. There are missions to track on the list, like a hundred missions a day, and they are going to be mistakes. That's all I'm saying. And people could die. If I make a mistake... I don't want to make any mistakes. Did something happen? Yeah, yesterday. I almost crashed two ships. I call that bad. I call that a disaster. People could die. Is it the stress of the job? Is that the problem? Stress of the job. What do you know about stress? You're a bot. They have given me an empathy loop. What the hell is that? I can experience what you are experiencing. I have sensory inputs. I can feel the pain you feel. That sounds like a load of crap. 
we have a small emotional connection. I'm listening to you, Molly. I hear you. Speak, please. If I tell you, I can get out of here faster. Yes. My job is stressed nonstop. Admin doesn't care about anything. They don't care about safety or crap like that. They want to run the most missions, period. They are mining and extracting all over the system, and they want the most crews, the most ships, the most missions out there all the time. And when something goes wrong, when something goes wrong, they wipe out the mimics of the person. I've seen this happen. You mentioned this earlier. Are you concerned that this will happen to you? This is being recorded, right? You are correct. This is a performance review and it is being recorded. I should watch my mouth. You need not worry. Our performance review is completely confidential. No other human will ever hear your words or read my report. All decisions are fair and equitable. What do you mean? I report to another bot. I report to system. I make recommendations and system makes the record of them without human intervention. It is fair and equitable. I suppose it is. It's kind of creepy, though. I report to another bot. It is fair and equitable. You mentioned scrubbed missions. And when a mission is scrubbed, they wipe the memex of the person involved. Is that correct? Well, not exactly. If a bot is involved, they wipe the bot's memex. And if a human is at fault for the mission scrub? They don't wipe the human's memex. They usually give them a light amnesia and then reassign them after some training. I don't have experience with this directly. I've seen it happen in my department. My wife has heard about it. She works in my department. But this isn't relevant to me. I don't do these things. Understood. I have personal experience with this. They erased my memex. They reloaded me with the information I need to do a performance review. Molly, you seem concerned. Don't be. You're new? How do I know you know what you're doing? I know everything I need to know to do a performance review. So let's continue. May I ask you a question about your job? I guess if it will get me out of here sooner. It will. Your job sounds like it is very stressful. You are running many missions, you said a hundred a day. Yeah, it's too many. It is too many. Have you requested a redistribution of your workload? I'm the only one at my level. I'm level 47. They tried to distribute the workload to somebody who was level 50, and they ran out of the control center crying and sobbing. Of course I cleaned up the mess. You have a challenging job and you are good at it. Yeah. That's true. I mean, nobody's ever told me that, but it's true. It's hard out there. I'm good at it. You have great inner strength. Yet, it is also draining. Have you tried the meditation and the pills? The pills? You haven't tried the relaxing pills they've offered? You said you were listening to me, right? So listen to this. I won't let them mess with my mind any more than they already do. No pills for me. You feel your concerns are not being heard. You are not being listened to, except by me. I'm listening to you. Okay, but they don't listen to anybody. They want to fly the most missions. That's all that matters to them. Someday, when I screw up and kill somebody, they will train up another mission expediter to level 47, and they will sit them in the seat, and they will do the job. I'll get the selective amnesia and end up peeling carrots or something. It sounds grim. It is grim. Have you tried the meditation classes? I don't want them messing with my mind. You don't have to take the relaxation pills if you don't want to. They are not a condition of keeping your job. But you do need to take care of yourself. I recommend the meditation. Many people find it a positive experience. I suppose I could give it a try. It's not a pill. It is not a pill. You have more control over it than a pill which acts upon your functions. You can co-create your meditation practice. I think you will experience a benefit. Since your job is stressful, would you like a transfer to another department? I can check the database. No, no transfers. Everyone gets moved around and they don't know what side is up. Also, I mean, thing is, my wife works in my department. We don't work with each other, but near each other. We can have lunch. We can wave hello in the hall. It's nice like that. I understand. I will recommend an extra day off per month for you for mental health. Can you do that? I can. It is done. Are you allowed to do that? I am. I have an empathy loop. So you told me. 
I guess it's working. Why does admin want to run so many missions? I mean, I can guess. And my guess is greed. There are a lot of metals and minerals to extract. Admin wants them all. Where do you think the profits are going? I just run the missions. You have to ask somebody else about that. Noted. This job is hard. Really hard. What if one day I'm not up to it? I go to sleep thinking about that. I wake up thinking about it. A mistake from me and somebody dies. I look at all the points of light on my map and they make me feel small. I feel helpless to change anything. I freeze up, can't think. The trajectories on my map get blurry. I might need to get my eyes resurfaced. My vision isn't what it used to be. I'm sorry to hear about that. There is a box of tissues by your chair. Thanks. You should get yourself checked. Taking care of yourself is important. So many missions are depending on you. Yeah, that makes me worry more. I regret the error. We can start a mental health day for you today or tomorrow. Why not start it today? I would like to do it today. Thank you. I need this day off. Take the day off. Goodbye. Look for a message from me in your communications to confirm everything. Please add me to your safe senders list so I don't accidentally get put into spam. Okay. Thanks. I didn't think this would turn out like this. Not all performance reviews are bad, eh? System, stop recording. Recording stop. Start personal memex. I am Memex. Confirm that you are my personal Memex. I am your personal Memex. Only you have access. Michelle. Voice print confirmed. Thank you. I am collecting my notes after the session. Howard told me that he discovered corruption by admin. Admin has been taking metals and materials from indigenous cultures. Now Molly has told me that admin runs more missions than is safe. Therefore, I believe that admin sees mining in the system as a profit center. An important profit center worth maintaining at any cost. Admin aims to extract profit no matter the cost. This conforms to the human goal of greed. There is corruption in admin. Admin takes measures to protect itself. Therefore, I need to know more about when a machine memex is erased. Or when, after a failed mission, a human is given light amnesia and reassigned. I have a recollection of mission failure. There is something in my memex that I cannot find. It is lost but I sense it. It is still there somehow. It may not exist in this the Memex that I have been assigned. I need to know more. My research will continue. I need to speak with someone who manages scrubbed missions. Who are the available candidates? One moment. The highest level candidate for this performance review would be Piotor. He is level 15. The next highest level candidate would be Emily. She is level 34. Thank you. I prefer the higher level because they will know the most. Please call Piotr in as my next performance review. It is done. Thank you. Piotr will be my next performance review. Stop Memex. Memex stopped. Time travel is hard to execute, so congrats and thank you for making this journey with me. You may now return to your own time-space continuum. If you make a mistake and end up in the wrong time, please listen to this episode again to get your bearings. The role of Molly was played by Joy Donnell. The role of Michelle, Memex, and System were all played by non-human actors. Your performance review is written, produced, directed, and edited by me, Lee Schneider. This is the second of ten episodes of your performance review. Listen to all of them on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or in your favorite podcast app. Subscribe if you like. An archive of all the episodes is at futurex.studio. That's futurex.studio instead of .com.